Dear chess friends, this is Jiří Dufek on Rarge Chess Channel. And today I will show you game Gelfand Kashimov from Moscow 2009, where to black played very interesting way Maroc Bind and he shows very interesting idea. I think it would be fair to show something interesting for black in this post structure. Let's start. E4, C5, Knight F3, Knight C6. D4, C, D, Knight takes D4, G6, C4, Bishop G7, Bishop E3, Knight F6, Knight C3, Short Castle, Bishop E2. We saw more or uh, everything uh, in a previous uh, game between Chaparinov and Tamin. But now Gashimov played very interesting B6. And I think just this move can surprise our opponent. After this move, Short Castle. Bishop b7, and this is a basic position of this line. And now, why there's a lot of choices? Interestingly, some logical moves, uh, which are quite typical for Maruti uh, are in fact very weak moves in this position. For example, rook c1 is it looks like absolutely normal move, but after knight takes d4, bishop takes d4. But I guess now bishop h6, and this is very unpleasant because rook is a geek and pawn is a geek, and white will lose the pawn or exchange in this position. It's very easy. After bishop e7, there is Queen d2 move, and which is surprising, this move was played by Michal Kyle against uh, Hernandez in Las Palmas 1977. And game lasts just only 21 moves. Knight takes d4, bishop takes d4, looks absolutely normal because after taking on e4, there is some tactical with Bishop g7, king g7, and queen d4 check. Uh, I will show you. Knight takes e4, knight takes e4, bishop takes e4, bishop g7, queen g7, queen d4 check. Uh, check and pawn is, uh, and bishop is hanging. But after bishop d4, black has very strong move, which absolutely refute white idea e5. Why it is forced to take on e5 because after bishop e3, he takes e4 and black is pawn up. After bishop e5, now black can take on e4, he takes e4, and bishop e5. And we see that maybe you think that this pawn is weak, but in fact, it's very strong. There is no way how to simple way to attack them. It can be uh, defended with bishop c6, but this bishop is so strong. Not only attacking this pawn, some way it can attack this. There are some tactics with uh, bishop h4, uh, queen h4, and so on. I'll play it knight c3, rook e8. Just into position is another angry problem. There is some position ideas because after bishop c3, uh, white is forced to take with uh, bc3 with terrible construction. Rook a1, queen f6. And now Tal probably think that uh, he, can, he can take on uh, d7, but this is just losing mistake. Rook e7, queen d2, rook a e8. Just winning two tempos for just uh, senseless pawn on d7. But we see that there is very unpleasant pin on e file. Knight d5, bishop takes d5, c takes d5. And now black found a very simple way how to win a game. He played queen f4 with a Double attack on h2 and g2, and after 
Queen takes f4, bishop takes f4. We see that bishop d2, or rook takes e2, uh, is, is winning. Yeah. Uh, rook takes e2, winning, uh, winning a bishop on e2. And even after d6, rook takes e2, Tal resign. Simply he's, he's, he's down. And it's, it's paradoxical because after queen d2, which looks like absolutely normal, a normal move, uh, white is immediately worse uh, after taking on d4 and playing e5. Gelfman played f3, which is probably, I think, a mostly played move in this position. But probably slightly more precise is taking on c6 and just then playing uh, f3. Probably you can check the database, uh, but uh, I think uh, just in this position, exchanging on c6 is probably the best way, because now black position slightly lost his dynamics of his position. And it's not so simple to, to play d5 or, or f5, even it was played with black by Ivanishevich or Jubaba. Uh, Vorobyov, uh, even by Gashimov. Uh, still, it's very playable, but things are not so simple. For example, Ivanishevich played an h5, and after we need to f5, uh, ef, gf, uh, with interesting position. But they are not so simple. Jobaba played knight e8, for example, queen d2, knight d6, interesting maneuver with this knight, with now support f5. And after bishop d4, took on d4, played f5, and after e5, knight f7, f4, e6, bishop f3, queen e7, knight b5, g5, he got plenty of counterplay on the king side. I think knight c6 is probably the best move. But f3 is the mostly played move, and now Gashimov played e6, which looks like there is very weak square on d6, but of course, black is preparing to play d5. If you don't like this idea, even in this position, black has another very interesting setup, which started with strangely looking move queen b8. And after queen d1, black can continue with another very strange move, rook d8. Rook fd1, d6. Rook AC1, and now Rook D7, Bishop F1, and the point of like setup is Pin F8, and after something like B3, Rook AD8, and this is just the main position, main setup for Black. And now it's not so simple to stop to play, play playing E6 and D5, and Black is. Uh, very okay in this position. Let's remember, in this position, queen b8, and then rook d8, d6, rook d7, queen f8, second rook on d8, and play a6 and d5. Something like this. And black is more or less okay. But Gashimov played e6. I think the best best move in the position. Knight dv b5, just covering this move, little this square once more time. Yeah, yeah, just three times. And of course, I would be happy to jump with this knight to d6. But d5, pawn sacrifice. C takes d5, e takes d5, e takes d5, knight b4. On is attacked. First one star applies your time. Four time. Just twice to defend it. Then the only way how to save this pawn is go forward, d6. But the black idea still didn't finish. Knight fd5, knight takes d5, knight takes d5, bishop d4, fourth, queen g5. Using the fact that now there are some unpleasant ideas with knight f4, 
my d3, and this pawn is very shaky because he is just defended by knight. And after something like rook a d8 and a6, it depends, or a6 and rook a d8, or rook f8, this pawn uh, will be fall. Gelfand played rook f2, which was understandable to defend this, this pawn, but uh, it is in fact a slight error. Probably better was g3, with uncure precision. And after rook f2, uh, black could won the game more or less immediately with bishop takes d4. He takes d4, knight f4, and there is no defense against knight h3 check with a double attack, with a fork, or with knight e2, and then this knight will be lost. Probably this was missed because I think it was a rapid game. Still, after rook f2, Yashimov played knight f4. Same idea. I want to take on d4 probably some way or and then on d2. But the main idea is to knight h3 check of course. Engage one, taking on d4. Now queen takes d4. We saw it. Knight e2 and queen b5. Then knight takes d4 and rook a d8. And we see that. This pawn will just fall. Knight b5, a6, knight c3, queen c5. There is no way how to defend it. Queen g1, because not only attacking this pawn, but this rook too. Queen g1, rook take d6. And now we, has, uh, on top, we have uh, on, top, on the board uh, material equality, but black pieces are much more, much more active. And this bishop is a very sad uh, piece, because the, uh, this bishop uh, doesn't cover any important squares, black squares. And black squares will decide this game. Bishop f1, rook fd8. Still very nice to see this, this picture on the board. Rook c1, queen g5, or just simple idea, knight h3, open the diagonal to this rook, rook fc2, b5, queen a7, rook 8 to d7, queen b8 check, queen g7, and now because there, are, there is a lot of threats, for example, Probably one of the threats is uh, rook d2, and so on. Even, I think, h5 and, and this, just to remove the, this pawn as defender of, of this pawn. Then, Dilfan played knight e4. And after bishop e2, uh, f e4, f takes e4, we just transform to one advantage to another one. And now we can see that this knight dominates uh, this bishop. This pawn is very weak. And e5 square is a very nice square for any black piece. Knight e6, rook c8, just to try to get some counterplay against a black king. But in fact, this has a very big goal. Rook d8, rook takes d8. Rook takes d8, rook c8, and now of course rook d1 was winning because there is no simple way how to defend this bishop because after king g1 there is queen e3 check. But in time turbo, Gashimov played queen f6, king g1, queen d4 check, king h1, queen f2, and this bishop is now attacked. The bishop cannot move because after bishop d3, 
there is something like queen e1 mate. And after rook c1, Black simply took a queen and white resigned. I think this is a very nice and instructive game for, for Black. I like this idea e6 because I think it's very dynamic and uh, Black has a very nice counterplay onto white squares. And it's very sad that Gashimov died so, so young and uh, I miss him. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.